conversation with Anthony Carlo and Benzino the Hero. Welcome back. <laughs> Go Rob J, you need singing. Nah. That was a good one. I don't blame you. I would have sung I would have sung two on that one. That was a good one. Thank so, you. No problem. I think I think that's one of my favorite ones. Oh, that um No, you definitely have better ones, but that was a good one. Thank yeah, you, I appreciate definitely. it. Definitely. Go looking out. So back here on A B conversation. Wow, a lot of Correct. a, a jam packed show today. Yeah, man. NBA, Knicks. Uh, NFL, NFL, baseball, baseball, now. baseball in December, <laughs> baseball in December, baseball in December. That's according like Christmas in according July. To, <laughs> <laughs> according, that don't happen. According to Nelson Cruz, there's baseball in December. Bruh, Nelson Cruz just signed uh, this week to the Seattle Mariners. Yep. Now with a four year, fifty seven to forty seven mil. Fifty seven million for four years. Nelson Cruz coming off as American League home run. King, as well as actually major leagues, he led the major leagues in home runs. And uh, so, is that a fifty-seven million dollar contract worth giving to somebody who just came off of steroid allegations and a forty-plus uh, home run season? But well, I should say, I think he finished with thirty. I think it was straight forty. Was it forty? Yeah, I think it was, it was just 40. straight forty. 40 yep. Sure. Well, giving him that money, you're going to expect some power now in this. Seattle Mariner offense that lacked power. You're going to expect home runs in the stadium now. Now, with his defensive play, him being an outfielder, that's not what the Seattle Mariners signed him for. Exactly. And now, and you put Kanoa at the third hitter, you have Cruz at the fourth. Sheesh. What? <laughs> that knocks Jeez. Rob Jiggity's that's, that's ear. A pow- that's, a, that's, you just, really a, that's a power move. The Mariners just knocked off Rob Jiggity's earphones. Wow, Rob. That, by that power move. That's Jeez. a power move. I think it's I think it's a good deal. Because you know why? I don't I don't listen. We could debate all we want if Nelson Cruz has a, has another year like that left in him. I think it's highly doubtful he's going to come back and and perform that way for another four years. I mean, I, I could see it happening maybe once or twice more, and I still don't think it's going to be as good as last year. I think he's going to take a little bit of a decline, but I, I say he gives you a couple of more 25 to 30 home run seasons. Now, obviously in the world of... Baseball players want deals, so they want to be in for an actual contract. So, so they're not going to, you know, he's not going to accept a one or two year deal. He wants no. a home for four years, so they negotiated on a four year deal, which I think is for the Mariners, it's going to work out because they're trying to build up this offense with Cano and the acquisition of him last year. And, um, you know, a team that obviously needs a little more offensive support. Other than Robinson Cano. I mean, Cano can't do it all. So I think it was a smart move, and I think it's going to benefit them for at least two years. And uh, the play of Felix Hernandez still being the ace of this staff. Yeah. I wonder if they'll sign. They they signed Felix to a deal last year. No, last year or two years ago. They signed Felix. They've been signing players. One, they've been having one big sign for the past two or three years. Yeah, well, they signed Fe- they signed King Fernandez to a King Felix, King Felix to a a, a a major contract. Yeah. So they're trying. You see them trying to make these power moves. Yeah, absolutely. And I I don't think they overpaid for Nelson Cruz either. Nah. They're paying him just over thirteen million a year. They should be getting that. I mean, that for what he did last year, I think that's perfectly respectable. Yeah. So I th- I think it's a good move. Um. You know, and and he, I think that this team is going to, you know, start to progress year after year, you know, based on the moves that they're making. And they di- they didn't they were in contention. They were for in, a, a good part in, of until last year. like mid August. They were. That, that's an, you weren't you wasn't expecting that from Seattle. No. So kudos to that organization and the moves they're making. They got smoke on that team as well. Another good hitter on that team. Okay. Um, you know, so they're they're definitely adding. Enough, like again, like I'll say again, is it enough to, to make a, a first place run? I don't think so. Is it enough now to contend for maybe a playoff spot? Nelson Cruz may be that, that extra little nudge they need to get into the playoffs. Because I'll tell you one thing, the Angels aren't scaring anybody. You know you know my rant of earlier. Right? Oh, yes. Yes, they we got, do. They got Check t- that out. You got to hit the ball. They got, taken, the ball. They got taken out of the uh, playoffs by the Royals. Um, you know, the, the A's are not scaring anybody. Speaking of the A's. Talk about it. 
Get rid of Josh Donaldson. Billy Bean, many people are asking, what are you doing? Yeah, because his his recent chess moves have been in question. Cespedes got, you, gave him the boot. You want to Cespedes? And you know what it was? You know why? I'll explain exactly why you want Cespedes was given the boot. Because you want Cespedes is not part of the money ball scheme. You want Cespedes is that power hitter that the A's can't don't, afford. They he was probably he was going to ask for a bigger contract, and the A's don't like to house these stars. And Yoenis Cespedes is turning into a little bit of a star. I don't think he's ever going to be one of the best hit. First of all, he is one of the better hitters in the major leagues, but I don't think he's ever going to be an absolute star like, let's say, John Carlos Stanton is. But he is an elite hitter in the major leagues, and I think that Billy Bean and the whole Moneyball scheme likes to get rid of those guys who start making that big name for themselves. And Josh Donaldson has always been that guy who's flown under the radar, mm-hmm. but has given the numbers, you know, has been there for production. So that's why people are questioning why I get rid of Josh Donaldson. And it's not a surprise to Billy Bean, him doing this. You can see back to the days with um, Tejada. Yeah, Tejada. even from Tejada. And he became a star in the MLB. And then so, they got rid of him. And Don- he, Donaldson is now on, um, now on the Toronto Blue Jays. So does this help bolster their lineup? Well, yeah, I think Josh Donaldson. Listen, I think he is a. Uh, he's. I think Josh. Josh Donaldson has a a power powerful bat. I think that he. I do think he's a little fluky. I don't think you can rely on him to put up power numbers year after year. But listen, the guy has been. And the reason why I say that is because, um, you know. There's some, you know, there, there's some guys who who you know are going to give you those numbers, and there's some guys who show consistency, but then you feel as if they change teams and then they're gonna fall off. Yeah, I don't. I'm not predicting that for Josh Donaldson, but I'm I'm just saying that I th- I think he will be a help to the team. I don't think he's gonna be again. I don't think he's gonna be a superstar, but I think he will offensively produce for the team. Um. Now, speaking of the Blue Jays, they earlier a few weeks ago they signed Russell Martin to a a, a pretty big deal. Uh, Martin got signed for five years and eighty two million dollars to the Toronto Blue Jays. Really? Five years, eighty two. Yes, no, no, I, I, not not questioning what you said, but like, really, Ru- Russell Martin getting oh, that right. money. Russell Martin getting that money. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean Russell Martin. Listen, I five years, eighty two million. He's been. For the most part, a durable player. I mean, there was some time he spent injured with the Yankees, but I think for of the course, of course, yeah, because everybody gets hurt when they come of to course. New York. For the Pirates, he was pretty much a stable. Uh, actually, you know what? I believe he was hurt for part of last year. But the point is, is he's been an anchor pretty much to the most for the majority of teams he's been the catcher for. I mean, he did wonders for the Pirates pitching staff two years ago when they went to the playoffs. He did wonders for, uh, I mean, he was a good, solid player for L.A. Uh, The Yankees, look, he held down the fort. I didn't see anything magnificent about him to sign him to a year, uh, you know, forever deal. But I think he'll be, you know, five years is... Five years at eighty million, that's that's about fifteen million a year, correct? Fifteen, thirty, forty five, sixty, seventy five. It's about eighteen million a year. So about eighteen million a year. That's that's pretty high price. Yeah, talking talking all this free agents talk, I think if if you had a if you had a son, you should make him like baseball. Now, don't make him like baseball. Put baseball in his face? Baseball is where the money is. It is. You're right, Ben. Yeah. You are right. Baseball is where the money is. And this contract's basically all guaranteed. You're right. Which is absurd. He, I mean, he's completely right. NFL players don't get paid as much. And, and they're not and, guaranteed. And look what they do. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, compared to the... Uh, they play a whole lot less games, but the type of sport they play should earn them more, more money more money than a baseball player. What happens in baseball, and NBA doesn't get paid as much as well. Uh, yeah. What happens is, is that... And hockey's not even close, you know. Now, yeah, hockey's getting up there a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I can see it recently, a little bit with the contract signings. I think what happens with baseball is that it's such a specialized skill set. In other words, you, it's not as physically taxing as being a football player or a hockey player. I'll say even a basketball player. But what it is is there's a specialized set of skills you have that I think it's, it's so... 
it's so specialized that I think that the contracts are much bigger because not everybody can do what somebody like a John Carlos Stanton can do. Or even pitchers to that effect. If you have, Rob, if you have a guy coming out of your bullpen throwing 97 consistently, you're going you're gonna to get paid. And those guys, those guys are a dime a dozen to NFL, in, in the um, MLB, excuse me, because, you know, there's different tiers of that. But even for the NBA, Rob, why is Matt Bonner still relevant in the NBA? Because he can shoot? Because he can shoot. That's a skill set in the NBA. There's yeah. A lot of shooters. Absolutely. So, there's different, Anthony said, different skill set in baseball. There's different skill set in basketball. But for hockey, the only reason their contracts are getting up because they sign like 14-year deals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. Which is, when it evens out, they're not getting paid as much, yeah. you know, as as uh, as these other sports. I think we should mention uh, the Red Sox made a couple of big moves offensively, signing Hanley Ramirez, uh, shortstop from the L.A. Dodgers, for four years, close to $90 million. You finally get to see him play as a Red Sox. Did I say I ever wanted to see him play as a Red Sox? No, in, in general, the, base, the baseball world, because oh. he was with the farm system. Oh, you're got, right. Then he got shipped right. to the um, Marlins. I mean, uh, they took him right away from any chance that the Yankees would have at, at signing him, especially with the captain gone. The Yankees probably looking to move away a little bit from... Well, I, I shouldn't say that. Bro, if they get too old, it's a wrap. If they get too old, it's a wrap. Well, the thing is, is about him is, you know, I've heard so much controversy with that deal, and believe me, I would love to see him play as a Yankee, but I've heard he... If you look at his injury reports, I mean, he's gotten injured a lot over the years, yeah. and um, it's not a guarantee he'll he'll be signed to another team. Mm-hmm. He may still be a Rocky yeah. when the season starts. Um, but the Red Sox did sign Hanley and Paolo Sandoval, who got a very large contract for somebody who was who I think is an average player. That wasn't a power move for the Red Sox to you? I, You know what? I think based on the market and what the Red Sox looked like last year, they made two good moves because okay. they needed to bolster. See, bolster. Bolster, yep. Taking your word. That, that is a baseball word, word of the though. day. Word of the day. Bolster. Bolster. They needed to bolster their team, and they look. The Red Sox are making moves. Give them credit. Um, but in terms of him up against... The rest of the league, I think he's a clutch player when it comes time to postseason. Had a great postseason this year, led his team to the World Series. I think the only problem is is his regular season numbers are mediocre. I think that's what it comes down to. Bars. Oh, my voice cracked. Oh, wow. Oh, and on that note, I think AB conversation is coming <laughs> wow. to a close. Yeah, man. And this is the last episode of the semester, so we got to give the shout-outs in. Um, Jiggity, good looking out, of course. You know, got Franklin. Franklin's always a fit. Jiggity was good. Franklin Zoe, Carlos, FG, Yuli, Sedan, Will, Chris Craft, your brother. Yeah, your brother, brother Chris, Chris Rosalis. Anybody else from the Joasos family? My sister, Aunt. And? My mama. <laughs> <laughs> mama, I love you. Um, bro, who, I say, A Run, Steph, Dakari, you know, anybody listening right now, Lapenta, do your numbers on, uh, on the finals. You know, school's important to us. And this is a mass comm department thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta tell y'all. My yep. sister my sister made honor roll. Let's get it. That's my sister. Let's get it. Uh, congratulations. Let's get it, uh. Congratulations. If you want A B conversation, make moves. And yeah. people affiliated with A B conversation, I'm gonna yeah. use the Jersey Joe Archino line. Demand greatness. Demand greatness. That's what we all demand here. We yeah. expect it. And a shout out to the whole WICR fam. You know, we make moves. This is just A B conversation. There's multiple shows in WICR, political, entertainment, fashion. And just just talk, just talk radio. Just talk man. radio. Talk so on radio. that note, Anthony Carlo. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy all Hanukkah. <laughs> we see you next semester. We'll be back. Yeah, stay tuned. That's a good ending. <laughs>